What up everyone? I am Ryan. I am Adam. And we are the Boston Brothers V2. And we are on our way for the first time since June when we went to Dragon Gear USA Fearless 2011. We are on our way back to Revere. Tonight we're going to go see Dragon Gate USA Revolt. Adam, you got the tickets right there, right? Yes, I do got the tickets right here. As you see, we have two here. They are front row tickets. You see AR Fox, one of the wrestlers, is a pretty cool ticket. They have like his profile on the back. So yeah, it's just cool tickets. But uh, we just wanted to talk about our expectations for tonight's show. And I'm just looking forward to the great action like we saw last time when we came in June to Revere. I think we'll see a lot of more of that great mat, great action. Uh, one match that stood out for me in particular was Ma Masato Yoshino versus Tazawa. I just think this will steal the show, and I'm just expecting a tremendous match between those two. Ryan, what do you expect tonight? Yeah, what I expect tonight is a better event than what we saw at Fearless. Maybe one of the main reasons is now we kind of know a little of what we're going to go see. Like before we were like, oh, we're going to go see to to Tozawa and Yosh Yoshino. And, but yeah, that Yoshino and Tazawa, I think that match tonight will steal the show as you were saying. But also the main event I think is going to be pretty sweet. We got the returning BB Hulk versus Yamato. And that is a no rope, no DQ match. And also uh, at this event, we're going to have Sabu. Yeah. We've never seen Sabu. Hopefully, we'll get the chance to meet him. You brought your uh, One Night Stand 05 DVD. Yeah. Maybe you can get that signed. Looking to get that signed. But uh, yeah, before we go to Dragon Gate, we are, of course, we're going to Revere. So you know where we're going. We are going to Kelly's Roast Beef. Going to get some of that Maurice Roast Beef. Yeah, come on. So uh, we're going to get back to you guys when we get to Kelly's. What up, guys? We are here at Kelly's Roast Beef in Revere. There it is, a legendary Kelly's Roast Beef. Made quite a name for itself in the YWC. Yeah. Shout out right here, Stevie Breach, Danny, Billy Paz, all huge fans of Kelly's Roast Beef. You can actually hit it up on Twitter instead of Twitter. It's yeah. At Kelly's Roast Beef. Yep, you can. It follows a lot of people in the YWC. But as you see right now, outside of Kelly's, we are on Revere Beach. There's a beach right here. And look at that huge moon out tonight. Tell me that isn't cool. Sweet moon out there, full over the water. There's your uh, beautiful waterfront there, Frankie. This is like pitch black, but there it is. All right, we're gonna go enjoy some Kelly's right about now. Surprise, surprise, here he is, Billy Pazzy Enza. Shocked the hell out of both of us. Why are you here? I am here <laughs> to surprise the shit out of you guys. ANC Dragon Gate USA. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Alright, so this is what happens. Fucking Thursday night, something like that. Fucking, no, Wednesday night. Adam sends out this tweet. He's like, just got tickets for me and Ryan to Dragon Gate USA. And I'm like, I'm gonna surprise those motherfuckers. This stuff has been selling decently on eBay. I won't say great because it's not going great. You know, people don't pay and shit like that. But anyways, it's been going decent enough where I can go out and have a good time because I haven't gone out in fucking months since fucking April where I saw the worst WrestleMania of all time. But, uh, no, so I bought this fucking ticket. You know, we're yeah. one seat in between each other, so we're going to see if one dude will move his fucking ass over yeah, or whatever. Him kick him the fuck out. You know, that's how we do it here in Revere, right? Revere. Here in yeah. Revere. So here's, like, the venue, the Wonderland Ballroom. The, uh, what a fucking shithole ballroom. Right over there. This is, like, a club. We can't take this flip in there because Gabe, he doesn't like videos or photos being taken inside, like, at our wage. Big gay Gabe. <laughs> So, uh, how much longer do we got here? We are waiting about, we're going to go in around 6.30ish, 5ish minutes, and we're going to go in and we're going to meet Yamato. Yes, Yo, yes, we Yamato. are. So, so I got to ask you before we get started, were you guys surprised to see me or what? Oh, I was so shocked to see you. <laughs> I didn't think in a thousand years, like the whole week, it seemed like you were planting this whole thing, like, to make us think that you, you were, like, busy or whatever. Yeah. And you didn't have the money, so yeah, I was shocked. I was shocked. I'm glad we're gonna be marking out here with Dragon Gate, gonna be going crazy. Last time we were marking out with Mark Man, yep. now we're gonna be marking out with Billy Pez. Yep. Yes. Gonna get yes. sick at the merch stand as well. Yeah. Wow, well, what are you buying? I'm looking to pick up two Dragon Gate DVDs. I wanna get uh, Bushido Code of the Warrior and maybe Mercury Rising. What the fuck? 
What? Why would you pick those shows of all shows to buy? Oh man, what would you do if what I wasn't do? here? Was the first what the IP fuck? Review. I was just watching wow. fucking Ryan recommends, and he's going Billy Pass never steered me wrong, and this and that. And now you're picking Bushido Code of the fucking Warrior, man. Well, now that you're here, you can help me out. Yeah, I'm here to save the fucking day. Yes. So, uh, we'll get back to you guys probably after the show. Maybe we'll do a review of that. That's it. We're going to meet Sabu, too. Yep. Okay. Unless there is a cost. Ryan, yeah, what do you got? I, I, I brought my uh, cover, ECW One Night Stand 05 cover. I'm looking to get a silver shot bead right here, signed by Sabu. Very nice. If it if it costs though, I'm saying fuck Sabu though. Oh, he's gonna yeah. say fuck you, pay me. <laughs> That's what he's gonna say. So, uh, but yeah, uh, we'll catch up after the show, guys. Very excited about this. We got two big matches going in. You know, we got Frey, which is gonna be a total fucking spot fest. Yeah. We got fucking uh, what the fuck else is that? BB Hulk and what is the Yamato in a fucking no rope match? Yeah, you got it. No rope, no DQ. And as we mentioned earlier, of course, you have the Masato Yoshino versus Akira Tozawa match, which uh, we think will steal the show. So, mm -hmm. very pumped, very fucking excited here in Revere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube world, this is Billy Pazienza chilling out in the motherfucking work truck. Yeah, the work truck. I say work truck, but it's really just an LT, so it's not really classified as a work truck. But I'm here with the Boston Brothers, V fucking 2, and we have yeah. fucking just got out of this show, and it was the Dragon boss. Gate. Dragon Gate Revolt. USA. Yes. DG USA. What do they call the show? Revolt. That's a gay fucking name. And it has the exclamation point on the end, too. That's very, very good. But a good show. Yes. Good show. Good show. Like we were saying, me and Adam, before you joined us, before you surprised us, we were saying that our, our expectations for the show, and we were saying that both of our expectations didn't come true. The first one was that uh, Yoshino and Tazawa, we thought they were going to have the match of the night. I didn't think that was the case. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But I didn't think it was right there. Right? Tozawa, you are the funniest motherfucker I fucking know. All right, I'll tell no. you that. No, I don't know him. I, I just seen him loading the shit up at the car. I didn't want to fucking bother him for yeah. a fucking picture. How did you like his singing, too? Oh, he starts doing like opera. Oh, 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 oh. That was actually really good. Yeah, it was really good. He should go on like Japan's Got Talent. Better than they are Fox's fucking rap battle Japan bullshit. Idol. Japanese Idol. Yes, yeah. yes. But uh, the other prediction that we made was that it was going to be better than Fearless. I don't think it was better than Fearless as well. Fearless 2011, the one before this from here in Revere. Yeah, the one I did not go to, so I don't know. Mm. Well, Adam, you sorry? Any input on that? Uh, I might have to say Fearless by a little. But don't, don't take it from me. It's because they don't like so me. They like Mark, man. Go. That's why. That's why. That's why. We're still marking out. We marked out with Mockman. We marked out with Billy Paz. A lot of marking out going on in that uh, fray match. Sabu! And this dude, this huge black guy, looks like Ezekiel Jackson. Ooh ha Nation. It's like Zeke and Titus O'Neil. That's his name combined. Ooh ha Nation? Nation. That sounds weird. That sounds like a football team or something. This is the Ooh ha Nation. This dude's supposedly new though, but to me. He had, a, he had like a total package going on because this dude has the build, he has a look, he's, a, he's just a big black guy. And he, <laughs> when you see him, uh, you won't expect him to do what he does. Yeah, but, like, uh, he, he did, did a fucking standing, standing fucking back. moonsault. It's oh. just crazy. Oh, the dude is the shit. He was great. He talked about how he like tried out for IWA and shit like that, but he was brought up with uh, AR Fox in Atlanta. Yeah. But, uh, he was telling this to us. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, did, we were just show. chilling out with Zuhan Nation. We were chilling out with uh, BJ Whitmer. B. I drunk him, BJ Whitmer. Be yeah. sure we say that. That was a surprise that BJ Whitmer was there because he wasn't even supposed to be on this card tonight. And yeah. let me tell you, BJ Whitmer, he looked great. You know, in the non fucking no homo. That's what you told him, dude. That's why I yeah, said. He, he said, no he said "Oh, homo. thank you. I shake my hand." <laughs> but uh, no, the dude was fucking great. He looked awesome. He almost looked like a young AJ Styles. I don't want to say oh, young because he's going bald and shit. But he had the same ring attire. He was toned down. He fucking cut his hair. He looked good. He uh, squashed a uh, local guy, Vinny Marsaglia, who is pretty much like a Jeff Hardy ripoff. Pretty much. Uh, what else do we have? We want to talk a little about the main Sabu event. is old as fuck. Or Sabu? Sabu is Sabu. old as fuck. And I was trying to get my One Night Stand 05 cover signed, but of course they charged, so... Ooh, how much was that? Yeah, 
was like 50. It was 20, I think. Yeah, ooh, good price. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> But yeah, anyways. It's that boot you see like all the scars on him. Yes, and the dude's that man's like gone through hell. Minimal hair. I wonder how much pain like he's in like right now after the show. After he just like he still went like yeah, he yeah, still, still did that squat. Oh, he, he did the Sabu the squat. Yeah. Onto the Imagine how much his body ring. probably hurts. Out of the ring. Day after day, and then he just comes out and still gives it his all. And uh, I don't even know how much pain he's in right now. It's probably a lot though. To be honest, I didn't like the venue. I didn't think because it was so small. It was kind of quiet. I know that sounds that weird, but I think because it's so small, it's harder for the noise to, I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say? So I thought this was, I don't want to say a dead crowd, a small crowd, a small dead crowd. Um, you know, you could hear the commentators fucking talking in the back. You could hear the fucking wrestlers talking to each other. So, um, you know, a couple I'm, times got like really quiet, like you hear a pin drop. Right. So like I'm only, I would love for them to move somewhere. Um, not that, you know, here in Nervia isn't the best place in the fucking world, but I would like for them to move somewhere where they could draw more people in. Maybe a Boston show, like downtown or something like that. You could bring in a college community or something like that, but... Because it definitely has the potential to have, like, such a great atmosphere. You know, you got the hard-hitting shit, people marking out. Yeah, Japanese wrestlers. Flying, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? And this is something that Ryan, I think, was saying last time, the last time they were here, he said uh, that these guys are like born to do this and I completely agree with this like they're just born to like have this Japanese style and they're like perfect at what they do so I just want to get that point across they yeah, like the main event like when it first started it was like quiet the place was like quiet and it seemed like everyone was like watching just like in respect like you were saying maybe they were burnt out but I felt it was like there everyone was watching like with respect and I just felt like I was watching like art like take its place right there in front of us. See, that's funny, because in Japan, that's how it is. They don't fucking go crazy, asshole fucking chants like they do here. They're just quiet. They sit there, and oh, ah. And golf clap, yeah. Even, like, during this match, you still have the people that are, as they said in the beginning, trying to get themselves over. They said in the beginning, there's no trying to get yourself over. They'll probably throw you out. But you still have the people trying to get themselves over, like, chant random shit, and Good Rest show. The match was very good. Good show. Good show. Frey was awesome. Yeah. Um, I think I liked uh, John Davis and Sammy Callahan. I thought that was one of maybe yeah. top three matches. Who'd you like better? Davis or Cal? I'm not really a big fan of Cal, but I liked him in this one. Davis, this dude just, it just seems like he can just go in there and fucking toss people around. Like, he just like dominate. That's, that's what I feel when he goes in there. Those two definitely beat the shit out of each other in this one. Callahan. Man, you were one sick motherfucker. I mean, I know you were season dub, but man, you were like coughing up fucking lungies left and right. Cool dude, though. Cool Doing dude. the John Cena spit. Yeah, dude, the spit was like... Like the shit that you see in Big too. Daddy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fucking, I had got a little disgusted there. I had to drop my PPR for a second. <laughs> but, uh, no, other people were really cool about this. After we, you know, the show ended, we met up with, uh, who the fuck was it? Rich Swan? He was cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah, he Everyone was, was cool, like, it's like, they were coming up to us. Right. It wasn't like we would go, oh, hey, nice job, Being nice a match. fucking hound dog They'd or They'd come like up that. and yeah. say, oh, you enjoy the show, you guys. They don't act out. like they're, like, higher than the fans. Like, they're just, like, cool. They'll come up to you, talk, do whatever. And ooh, even New Hot Nation, I know he's new, but still, he has to all of our names, shook our hands. He's not going to remember our fucking names. Yeah, yeah. probably But that's fucking nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, Jim, Ryan, Bill. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Adam. But, uh, yeah. Jim now. Yeah, Jim. But, uh, anyways, yeah, good show. I enjoyed it. Very fun. Uh, what did you, uh, pick up here tonight at the merch table? I picked up one thing, and then I was like, you know what? I really don't fucking want this show because I want to see a different match. Although, you know, I did get this All Star Weekend Man. 8, night 1, night 2, night 1. Why did I want that? I want Willie Mack versus Kevin Steen. And uh, night two, you got Chris Hero versus Akira Tozawa! Motherfuck is the shit, dude. It's like a new release, right? This is somewhat of a new release. This game happened out in May, so it's not really a new release. But, you know, by the time you get a DVD out, it's two months late anyways. So, it was either that or get eight, and eight only had two or three matches I really care about. So, I'll be waiting for Steen Wolf PWG. I, uh, picked someone myself. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah. What'd you get? As I said before, what'd you get? Yeah, we got a thank you bag. A thank you. We got uh, 
Bushido Kotala Warrior. Bushido. Bushido. This was uh, the first I pay per view. <laughs> it happened in Fall River, Mass. I mean, you got Aki Bono on this, John Moxley and Jimmy Jacobs. And uh, it's a big show. Yeah, Aki Bono and Brody Lee. Brody Lee is the poor man's fucking necro butcher, by the way. I don't mind Brody Lee. Really? I felt bad for the guy that lost his fucking shoe. He's decent in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> Took the guy's shoe. Sorry, through. sorry. Next DVD you oh, got. Oh, and I almost got trampled oh. by Brody Lee. Look at him. Brody Lee was it. He pushed me out of the way because they were fighting, uh, right him and Whitmer were fighting in the crowd and they were right in front of us. This happened a couple of times actually where we had to actually move out of our seats to, because we were in the way. But I almost got trampled by Brody Lee. I mean, they were breaking chairs. One of the chairs that I was sitting in got broke. Yeah. So uh, with this, went with, I said I was going to go with Mercury Rising, but I went with Open the Historic Gate. One match, Doi versus Shingo. Great, great. And you know I what I got? Good. I got X's, cause I'm a CM Punk again! Me too! It's clobbering time! X's. Beer. <laughs> PPR. There was a PPR chant tonight. Was there? Yeah, with uh, Eric Cannon. Man, them fucking kids got right in fucking front of me when oh, I was yeah. sitting there. Yeah, I had front row seats. It was like Billy Paz had like a family like right Yeah, I was like, get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Like, who would bring like a two year old girl? Check this out. Look the that, show. that girl would have like great wrestling knowledge though. Yeah. Like ten years, like her first memory. It's like starting early. Her yeah. first memory will be like uh, BB Hulk versus uh, to yeah, yeah, you, you go, oh yeah, BB Hulk looks like a chick. <laughs> he didn't know what he looked like. Isn't this him right here? Yeah, man. This is what he used to look like. Now he's like, he is a bangs. He's always uh, looked like a chick to be honest, man. But it's all good. That was the first time I saw. He's a bitch. Fuck he you. Has a good, he has a good kick though when he kicks like the Yeah, yeah man. He fucking yeah. flips the like leg up and yeah, it's fucking noggin. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's Dragon Gate USA here in Revere. Dragon Gate USA Revolt. Revolt. What a game for me. At the end, Yamato says that they will be coming back to the Boston area. He says, We will be coming back. <laughs> yeah. Dude, put the Boston. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. That was a pretty good impression of that. So I guess we'll we'll be back as well. I really like Dragon Gate. Yeah, everybody's real cool, man. Yeah. So, until next time. Peace.